Hey folks and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna build the quad. From time to time people get in touch with me, some colleagues, some subscribers, uh, some friends of mine who want uh, me to build something for them. Planes, quadcopters, cine lifters. And in this case, a subscriber wrote me, Andre Shek, and asked me if I want to build something new and something cool. But this time it should be more interesting, at least for me and also for you, I hope, because Andre told me that we can pick whatever we want and we can build the top-notch copter with the best components I can find. Let's try to do it. As you see, I have quite a few boxes here and they came to me without any problems. Only one thing I had a problem to order and I didn't order it at all at the end. This is the KISS flight controller Ultra H7. I think this is the name of it. First week of January, Andre wrote me and asked me if I want to build something. And I told him, sure, we can make whatever you want. But I wanted to use the keys control just to try because it's some, somehow new. Now it's the end of March and there, there, there is still no place to buy the flight controller. In Europe right now there is no flight controllers. I don't think that there is any reason to wait anymore. Like we waited three months to get a flight controller. If you cannot get uh, components in three months, you should switch to something else. So we switched to Luminaire flight controller. What is important, the quad will have yellow color shim. It will have Apex frame, the real original Apex frame, very fast rush ESC. Nowadays it's pretty complicated to find proper ESCs because of the chip shortages. Luminaire flight controller for RC in power motors. Of course we will fly with 6S. This is pretty cool stuff. It's a Rancom Link uh, HD with the DVR part so you can see the picture from this video transmitter in your DJI goggles and also you can write the footage down on your SD card on board and up to 2.7k they said maybe it's cool also you can use it with gyro flow so it should be pretty decent uh, footage straight from the camp the total cost of the components is around 700 US dollars also, additionally, I took the GPS from Matek. I don't think that we will use enough, but it will be cool to see the GPS coordinates, distance to home, speed, and at least you will have GPS rescue from Betaflight. Here, here is it, here is the beauty. Here is the most expensive five inch quad I ever built. I finished the build few days ago already, but there is no way to fly it right now. Look at this, look at this weather right now. It's very foggy, it's very wet, it's very cold. We have to wait a bit. But before I forget all these things I was thinking about during the build, uh, I want to share my thoughts. First of all, camera is, oh my God, it's not bad. I will probably make additional video only about the camera because the quality of the camera is not bad and also it can be stabilized with gyro flow. The motors are beautiful. GPS should work as expected. The flight controller stack no, should be no problem. These are the high quality components from good companies, from good brands. But the frame, the frame is not as good as I expected, you know. Uh, I paid for this frame uh, 140 US dollars or even more, it was like 135 euros. So in dollars it probably it's a bit even more, like 150 dollars. What the crap for this money! <laughs> I don't want to shame anybody but come on, what is the crap? I mean the quality of the carbon, the quality of the cut, of the miling, it's all fine. I mean recently I was building a diathlon frame for the, for the friend of mine. The price of the frame was 50 US dollars and it was much better. The quality of the carbon, it's the same actually, because I, I'm not sure, I cannot check what is inside of the carbon layers there, but it should, it looks the same and from the stiffness, from the feel, it, it feels the same. So the screws, they are also the same. Screws are screws, they are steel screws. But what about the packaging, you know, it comes 
not in a box it comes in a plastic bag the frame it's a very cheap solution the screws are you know one plastic bag it's like 150 screws in one small bag you have to sort out which one goes where so in the package there is also no manual so if you want to check how the, to build the frame properly you have to google it or download from the website the same frame from diatone it had every screw packed in a separate bag with a beautiful label printed label on it it it's convenient it's pleasure to build it in this case it's nothing we'll see how it flies but right now i'm not so impressed from the frame with this price point it should be much better there have to be some additional advantages of buying exactly this frame okay it looks good maybe the quality of the carbon is good but other than that the strap look this is strap like this is proper strap with the metal ring and so on what about the impulse rc strap i mean is it a real high quality strap this is a plastic that is the cheapest plastic strap i saw a package of them five pieces from banggood with banggood logo for 199 or it's very cheap it's the cheapest option on the market 150 us dollars the frame of course you can buy it somewhere cheaper but with the shipping with all together with the taxes in europe it costs a lot and there is even no strap in the package with the same quality of carbon you can buy frames starting from 56 us dollars and it will be the same so i'm not sure if this frame is worth it it's time to test it it's a maiden flight so i don't expect too much performance from it it's not tuned yet looks fine for me Oh, it has a lot of power. But the pits are not tuned. It flies bad. But tomorrow or the day after, if the weather will be a fan, I will come back and start with the tuning. I wouldn't say that this tune works good. Oh, what was that? There was something wrong. <clears throat> Maybe the mean throttle is too low or something like this. Okay, this weather looks much better. I came to the field now with my laptop with the quad. Well, today I'll uh, turn the stuff with the pit analyzer, pit toolbox and we will see so usually it takes a lot of time so i don't think that i will cover every step of the tuning in this video i will just put the gopro somewhere there behind uh, in the time lapse mode because this can take a few hours So, finally, it's done. I think it's tuned properly, but we have to check if it flies good. So I put the camera with some angle. It's like, like this. So I would say it's around 20, 25 degrees. I think that's fine. Also, the CG is totally okay. Even there is no camera. The frame is so long that you can put the battery in the middle and the CG is fine. Also, of course, we can try to record the flight. Feels okay, let's try. There is some jello in the feed, but I'm not sure from what. Everything is new. New motors, new frame, new props. The rates are actual rates, but they're copied from the beta flat stock rates, so it feels pretty standard beta flight ish
Oh shit. Also, I feel some delay. It says 35 sec milliseconds, but actually, there it's not 35 milliseconds. I feel that the delay of the. I think it's a split cam because of recording. It feels much slower and not responsive at all. Of course, there is still some uh, pro wash. But the 6 inch, I never got rid of the pro wash completely. So, this tiny amount of pro wash, it will be still there. Or you can try to get rid of it with the bigger motors. These motors are not so big. They are more efficient than big. But it feels cool. Even the yo axis is a fan. But the latency is. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The latency is so high. The camera itself is very good. I would say the colors are fine, the white balance is okay. And it's also very detailed, like sharp, I would say. I see a lot of small details on the ground, like small grass pieces, small stones. And feels okay. But the latency is high, yeah. And full power is very stable. The props are a bit not as sturdy as I would expect, they are pretty soft. But for cruise flights, for the cinematic flights, freestyle flights, it's totally fine. For the racing, it would be a bit too soft. It sounds clean. About the motor temperature. It's it's not even warm, it's cold. So I assume we can add a bit more D component because right now it's like 1.4 on the sliders. We can make it 1.5 or even 1.6. Let's try it out. Fine. A bit of proportion still there, but it's not a small five inch. I like, I like the feel it plays. You know what? Uh, let me turn it off. The recording. I check without the recording. Oh my god! It's so much better. <laughs> Now the latency is almost not existent, so it's the latency of the DJI system only. Oh my god, it flies so well. Without the latency I can't control it properly, you know? Because with the latency, it's always the problem with the throttle management and you cannot call, um, handle the prop wash well. But right now, I feel it, how it flies. And I'm used to this latency of 30-40 milliseconds of the DJI system. And also, it feels like there is almost no prop wash anymore. Also, what is cool about this uh, bigger quad that they fly efficient and long. Uh, if you put a bigger battery here, like 3006S, you can fly like 10 minutes or even more. If I'm not flying aggressive freestyle, it's efficient and very... It's quiet. 
Another thing I wanted to test is the return to home feature. It's not a proper uh, INF here, it's a beta flight, but still it will be interesting to check how it works. I'm not sure and I'm not so confident about the beta flight return to rescue mode, but we will see. The GPS is high quality. I saw right now that it got uh, between 15 and 20 GPS satellites. It means that it will have enough information to come back home. Start the recording. Yes. Here is it. It's approximately 75 meters. It's a soft grass, 80 meters, 85 meters. And now return to home. It flies upwards and flies straight home. Okay. I turned it off once again. Somewhere here now. It's 100 meters, 102 meters. It flies upwards and then comes back home, straight to us. Not bad. And once again behind us, somewhere here, turns around and slowly flies back home. Very good. After the first initial test part, I moved further to test the camera and actually I was quite a bit disappointed because with the first firmware that the camera came with, uh, it was a bit disappointing. The camera was not able to record the gyro uh, data properly and I wasn't able to synchronize gyro traces in gyro flow software to get uh, good stabilization. But after the firmware update, it works as it should. I wanted to show you some more information about the camera about the Rankham Split HD but I think it would be better to separate the video and I will show in the next video some additional footage and how I got the gyro flow traces and how did I actually get uh, decent footage out of the camera and about the copter itself I think it flies well now after the fine tuning after some adjustments of the speeds and rates and actual and and all possible values that are inside and all possible values it flies really good what i have to say in my life i've flown and built and crashed a few hundreds of small mini quads and the reason to buy overpriced expensive components parts uh, it's not always clear why should you do that of course sometimes you actually gain some additional quality better quality control better uh, bearings better steel or additional features for the flight controller faster and more precise ESCs and so on but sometimes there is actually no reason to buy this overpriced stuff but about these apex frames huh uh, I have to say, I am not impressed. I am not impressed. For this money, they should give much more. Uh, otherwise, I don't really see any reason to buy these frames. I hope you like this video. Press like, subscribe to the channel and leave the comments below. In the next video, we will discuss the Rancom Split HD camera. We will check the settings, we will check the footage, we will check the stabilization. Meanwhile, the quad was carefully packed and already shipped to his owner. And actually, the owner already got the package and is quite happy with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.